anything that stands in my way. I can't choose between what's wrong and right. Nobody's gonna dare to put up a fight. I got the power to make the music stop. I spend my life working up to the top. Now, but if someone comes and takes that from me, I'm gonna break down, turn around, and fall to my knees. How does it feel to wake up to no sound? Get up out of bed just to be kicked right down. Now, but take it, baby, your rights came free. But just some, yeah, just a luxury, a song slam. You have been very open about the fact that you have dyslexia and yes. school was difficult and challenging for you, but you've turned that into a huge positive with your music. Can you explain how you have done that? Well, I was, you know, I was dyslexic. I was diagnosed. I was probably always dyslexic, but I was diagnosed when I was eight or nine. And um, reading was always difficult. Uh, it was always, you know, it always, I was always slower than everybody else and I didn't know why. Uh, and then the world is governed by words, you know, by the written word. And school is like that. And I wasn't doing very well. And I got to a point where I just gave up, you know. And music came so much later. Like, music came when I was 15. So from the age of 7 to 15, those were really difficult years of my life. It was hard. I, I mean, I gave up, basically. I, I didn't pay attention. I. I, uh, you know, I gave up on myself. And then when music came along, as I got deeper into it, it was fun. And the deeper I got, it was like, I could understand the world, you know? Words never made sense, but music did. You know, and it taught me life concepts. It taught me concepts about, you know, about life, basically. And, and everything started to make sense. And, and that's why I clung to it, 
you know, so tight. I held on to it so tight. But dyslexia is always there. Um, you, you find ways to compensate, you find ways to deal with it, but it's always there. Um, it's every time you pick up a menu or, or read a text or read an email, it's always there, you know. And uh, it's, it's still difficult, um, but, but at least I don't, I'm not lost in the mm. world anymore. You know, I, I know my place, I know what I want to do, and, and, and I know I can understand the world, you know, through, through musical concepts. What advice would you have for other students who are maybe struggling with a learning difference? Find the thing that you love and, and don't be ashamed of it. Stick with it. Dream big. Study the greats. Become greater. Work hard and believe in yourself and be yourself because nobody else is going to be you. <laughs> you know, that's your job to be yourself. And, and really just don't be afraid, you know, of the world. The world can be scary, especially when, when everybody's against you and thinks it's stupid, but it's actually not. As long as you find a thing you love and you pour your heart into it and you work hard and you do it for the right reasons, you know, I believe if you have that, it's not re that you can overcome anything. And there is always, there is always something. There's always that, something. That you're good it's, at. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you just got to take the time to to um, expose yourself to it or to and find out. Look at you out. that you did. What, thank goodness for that 12-string guitar. You know, yeah. that's uh, yeah. amazing. <laughs>